the Duchess of Cambridge wearing Seraphine on 12 December when Cecile Rhino launched her label Seraphine 15 years ago, their WASNT much of a maternity fashion scene to break into. To be honest it was non-existent, she laughs. Brands assumed that women would need baggier clothes, but they were badly cut. No one had thought about the fact that a woman might want a Y pair of jeans while she was pregnant. Rhino had started thinking about her business plan several years earlier, after witnessing the impact of Demi Moore's now iconic bump-bearing Vanity Fair cover and appreciating that stigmas around motherhood were changing. Where once women may have wanted to cover up their pregnant figures, the new generation wanted to maintain their personal sense of style, right up to their due date. She really was the first person to bring some appeal to being pregnant, Rhino says of Moore. Before that, women generally felt embarrassed, or that they should be hiding their figure. In the last 15 years though, so much has changed. There is now a whole generation of career-driven women who are having their children whilst working, returning to work and even nursing when at work, and so workwear is one of our big markets now. Rhino launched her label after inventing the UK's first designer maternity jeans in 2002 great fitting jeans and knee swashes but with a discreet band over the belly. It was the star product. It was before the internet so we started an old-fashioned waiting list with people leaving their phone number. Cecile Rhino, the founder of maternity brand, Seraphine After starting with the essentials, Rhino has gradually built Seraphine into a business on track to turn over £20 million this financial year, and a recipient of the Queen's Award for Enterprise. I started with the essentials like jeans, then expanded each time we saw a new demand, she explains. Now the range is really broad, from maternity underwear to swimwear to a corporate wardrobe to ball gowns. The average woman now attends three weddings during her pregnancy, so people need something great to wear at these events. The biggest part of our business now is selling dresses, because when it comes to Denheim we're not the only brand doing maternity jeans anymore, she continues. From a dress, the customers want something stylish, flattering and versatile, you need to be able to style it up or down, because however many pieces you buy, your maternity wardrobe will never be as big as your normal one. The other successful things about our brand is the pricing. Even though we dress famous celebrities and royal families, an average dress is £55 to £60. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wearing Seraphine with Prince George in 2013 credit, Michael Middleton A pivotal moment for Seraphine came in 2013, when the Duchess of Cambridge wore the brand's £49 Jolene Knott front dress for her first official family portrait after giving birth to Prince George, an image that made front pages around the world. That picture gave us a huge springboard and we became an internationally recognized brand because of it, Rhino says of the interest she received, particularly from American aunts who were infatuated with getting Kate's look. For me as an entrepreneur it gave me such a boost to think of this dream endorsement. I had to run with it. The timing, she reflects, was perfect, as the brand was approaching its 10-year anniversary, the business was profitable and an established production system was in place. When the picture was released, the dress sold out in two hours, but the team was able to swiftly restock making the style a staple in every collection going forward. Marion Cotillard wearing Seraphine's leather leggings credit, Rex we were prepared to an extent because we knew that she was our customer in the store, Rhino explains. But you don't know where and when something will be worn, or whether it will be in the public eye. We had read articles about what the Kate effect was doing for brands like LK Bennett and Reese before us, so we were slightly aware that you need to be quick to react. We put an enormous amount of logistical work in to make the most of that opportunity. Since that first picture, the Duchess has returned to shop at Seraphine several times. Now expecting her third child, she was pictured earlier this month in the brand's Marina coat, a piece that she had originally bought when pregnant with Princess Charlotte back in 2015 and had worn on a visit to New York with the Duke of Cambridge. Look back at the Duchess of Cambridge's best maternity fashion moments to see her bring it back out was really nice because she's just like any regular person, you have these pieces that you love and want to keep hold of, Rhino says. On the third pregnancy, why should NTU refer back to your clothes from the second day? A lot of women have children two years apart or so, and they want to have these essential things that they can come back to again in their maternity wardrobe. It's such an important factor for us when designing. The Duke and Duchess of Cambridge wearing a coat by Seraphine arrive at the Carlisle Hotel in Manhattan in 2015. Rhino says that the biggest achievement, for her, is considering the diverse range of women that make up her clientele. From Holly Willoughby to Anne Hathaway, she's managed to provide solutions for all tastes and all body shapes, no mean feat when dealing with customers who are expanding, breastfeeding, and trying to carry on as per. Your body changes and it is a challenging time where you don't know what to expect, she says. 
you need more than ever to feel empowered by a good wardrobe. When I dress a rock star like Gwen Stefani, who likes to wear leather pants, and someone like the Duchess of Cambridge who needs to be the epitome of elegance, I think I've covered a full spectrum of women. I feel proud that each person can recognize themselves in a part of the collection, but more importantly find something that suits them at a time when their body is changing and there is a lot going on.